What's up? Welcome to the video. Uh, I've been wanting to do a collection video, one of these for a while. Felt like since I'm stuck at home, now's the best time to do it. So hopefully you enjoy. So I break down my collection into genres and then alphabetical within the genre. So this is probably going to be a really long video. So I'll throw some time codes in the description if you want to skip to a certain part. If you want to watch the whole thing, that'd be great too. Um, but yeah, I've been collecting for about five years, and this is what I got so far, so we'll get right into it. Okay, starting off with TV shows, starting off strong with my favorite show. We got 24, season one. Uh, I'm lending season two out to somebody. Um, season three, we got season four, and in my opinion, the best season of TV I've ever seen, season five. And season six, these are just the DVD box sets, got Redemption, and then these are Blu-rays of the show. These are only manufactured in Japan though, so pretty lucky to get my hands on these. They're pretty difficult to find, can be really expensive sometimes, but got them on a good deal from somebody. So season one, two, three, four, sorry about the glare, uh, five, six, Redemption. And then just the US Blu-ray releases, got season seven, season eight. Um, and if you see these, these are just like little protective sleeves that um, keep it from getting shelf wear, keep it from dust, things like that. So just have those on some of the editions. Um, Live Another Day, got 24 Legacy, which some people didn't like. I still enjoyed it. Obviously can't compare it to the original show, but I still thought it was fun. Um, got Discovery of Witches. Haven't watched it, but had Teresa Palmer, who I like as an actress, so thought I'd pick it up. Uh, I got Million Little Things, season one. Uh, the first two seasons of American Horror Story. And got Arrested Development, season one. It's a great show. Uh, season two. And season three. And then we've got the first three editions of Attack on Titan. Um, also, I haven't watched this, but eventually I'll get into it. There's a lot of stuff, especially in TV, that I haven't watched. Um, more so than the movie section, just because it's hard. It takes a lot of time, but um, then we got Avatar, The Last Airbender, complete series. Love that show. Fantastic. Uh, the Legend of Korra, Blu-ray. I uh, got Batman, the complete animated series. It's a cool addition that they came out with. Um, Big Little Lies, season one. Oh season one and season two I uh, got black sails the complete series watched only about four episodes in but I really enjoy it so far uh, breaking bad this is like next on my list of shows to watch because all I hear is great things about it but that's one that I haven't seen yet so I'm excited to eventually check that one out uh, I got the first six seasons on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Uh, I got Castlevania, the Netflix show, season one. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad here. Uh, Chernobyl, uh, the miniseries from HBO. Got the complete series of Cowboy Bebop. Um, heard that one's great. Haven't watched that one yet either. We got the complete series of Chuck with... Shazam himself. Um, I've got two editions of Community here. I had the DVD originally, um, and before I had a chance to open it and watch through it again, the Blu-ray came out, so I still have that one sealed. It's got a little bit more features than the new release, but love this show. So funny. One of my favorite comedies for sure. Um, the first three seasons, Covert Affairs, uh, and then we got the best show that Netflix has come out with uh, Daredevil season one with the slip, and we also got the steel book 
of season one. We got season two with the slip and season two steelbook. Really hoping that we get season three, although might not be super likely at this point. Uh, on Blu-ray, that is. I uh, got Dexter, season one, season two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we got Dollhouse, season one and two. Okay, then we got Dynasties, cool little nature series. Have to check out more of that. Um, we got Fargo, season one. We got the little collector set for Firefly. And then we got, uh, picked this up on a pretty deep sale on Black Friday. Got Friends Complete Series. Only seen like five or so episodes, but eventually I'll wash through some more. And then we got what is probably the coolest collector's edition of a TV show that I've seen. The Game of Thrones Complete Series. Um, it comes in this really nice uh, wood set. Um, got these little card inserts um, at each level for each season. Um, can't really see it too well because of the glare, but I apologize. Um, but yeah, I, I for one love the whole show. Um, I did binge it after it all had been released already, so that might have a affected my opinion because I didn't have to wait for each season, but uh, I like it. It's great. It's a great show. Fringe complete series. We got Gotham complete series. Got Grimm season one. I uh, got the Home Improvement set. And this is a, just comes in a little toolbox. Um, love that show. Been one of my favorites ever since I was young. Um, then we got Jessica Jones, season one with the slip. Love season one. Season two, meh. It's, a, it's not that great, but I thought season three was decent. And um, then we got the steel book for season one. We got Justified, complete series. And we got my second favorite show of all time, Lost. Um, love this show from start to finish. So good. I watched all six seasons in like two months. I just couldn't stop. I was so addicted. And um, then we got Lost in Space, first season, the Netflix show. Um, huge fan of the original uh, as a kid. And I haven't, haven't felt that the Netflix show really captures the magic of that original show as well as it could have, but it's all right. And uh, then we got Luke Cage, season one, the slip. And then we got Mr. Robot, season one, two, and three. And we have the slip on three. Um, we got Orphan Black. This one is out right now because that's just the show I'm currently going through. Um, really enjoying it so far, just on season two. Um, we got Outlander, the first four seasons. Um, we got the Stranger Things, VHS, the Blu-ray, and then the 4K for the first season, and then just the 4K for the second season. Really think it's cool, the releases they've done for that. Okay, coming down here, we got Parks and Rec, Complete Series, Planet Earth 2, Blue Planet 2, and 4K. These are some reference discs if you want something to show off. 4K TV. I uh, got Project Blue Book. Um, still have to check this one out. Um, looks really interesting though. Um, got Prison Break. The first four seasons. The final break. And then the event series. Love this show. Really hoping we get that sixth season that they've been talking about. Um, then we got Psych. Uh, got all the seasons um, in the cool little book editions. That they have so got season one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Love that show. Um, excited for the second movie because obviously we get Laster back, so that'll be fun. Um, got seasons one through four of Rugrats. I'm an adult, so what 
still can enjoy the Rugrats. Um, got Scream, seasons one, two, and three. I think it's a pretty, I don't know, an underrated little thriller show. It's a little cheesy, but I enjoy it. Haven't watched the third season yet, though. I've only seen the first two seasons. Um, got my favorite comedy show of all time, Seinfeld. Um, I don't know if anything will ever be able to top this. Just, even to this day, still love every episode. Um, got Sharp Objects, Season 1. Got the only 4K release, I believe, of Sherlock. I uh, got Sons of Anarchy, the complete series. Got Spongebob, seasons one through five, just by themselves, and then uh, Spongebob, the next 100 episodes. Um, got Terra Nova, season one. Uh, it's a shame that show was canceled. I was really enjoying it. Um, and then got The Alienist. Okay, coming down to the next shelf. Um, Got the following. Love this show. Um, got the first three seasons, uh, which is canceled after that. But if you haven't checked it out, um, it's got somewhat of a conclusion after the three seasons. So I still recommend checking it out. Um, got the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, classic Will Smith. Got the IT Crown, just the first season. Eventually, I need to pick up the others. So it's a great show. Um, Got The Haunting of Hill House, Season 1. Looking forward to The Haunting of Bly Manor. This is probably one of the best releases of something horror-related that we've gotten recently. This is great. Um, got the complete Blu-ray series of The King of Queens. Um, got The Last Ship. I've only watched the first season, but I enjoyed it, so definitely will be checking the rest of that out at some point. I got The Office, one of the best comedies, of course. Don't need to say much about that, but got the complete series on DVD and then the Blu-ray releases of 5 through 9, the only ones that they have released on Blu-ray. Then we got The Pacific and the little tin. We got the complete series of The Shield. We got The Terror, Season 1. And then we got Seasons 1 through... Uh, nine of The Walking Dead. I'm not complete on those, though. I still need uh, the fifth season, it looks like. Um, stopped watching at season seven. Eventually, I'll get back into it, but yeah, it kind of lost its flavor for me a little bit, as it did with a lot of people. But I've heard the ninth season kind of returns to form, so... Got just the third season of True Detective. We got the complete series of Twin Peaks. Coming down here, we got the complete series of The Americans. And then we've got Westworld Season 1, 4K. And Westworld Season 2, 4K. Alright, so that's all the TV shows. In the first shelf, there's another quick view of all of those and then we'll move on okay first up we have action uh, you'll notice this big gap here um, that's just because I'm preparing space in case I need to add more um, just so I don't have to move things across shelves a bunch so that's just what that's for um, first up we got Alita Steelbook 4k this is a great movie really enjoyed that one hoping we get the sequel uh, Battle Los Angeles. We got The Bourne Complete Collection. Uh, one of my favorite series. Uh, the third one, one of the best movies, in my opinion, that I've seen. Um, and I liked the fifth one as well, which some people didn't like. Uh, got the comic book steel book style. Uh, Bourne Identity. Bourne Supremacy. And the Born Ultimatum. Then we got Bumblebee. Great movie. We got Die Hard. This is a movie that I still have to see. I have not seen the original Die Hard. I've only seen a few of the sequels, but that's one. I mean, I've seen parts of it 
just not all the way through. So I definitely need to do a marathon at some point. Got Live Free or Die Hard. Got Jack Reacher. I'm trying to figure out how to do this without tipping everything over. Jack Reacher, 4K. Got The World Is Not Enough, Pierce Brosnan. Okay, I'm going to move some of these over here. Got Casino Royale. That's how we'll do it. Uh, Daniel Craig collection. Eventually we'll get to see his last Bond film. I uh, got Spectre, which I also really enjoy. I uh, got the VHS style slipcover of John Wick. John Wick 2. Or no, sorry, that's still John Wick, just the steelbook. John Wick 4K. Uh, John Wick 2 steelbook. John Wick 2 4K. And then John Wick 3 Steelbook. Love that series. Uh, for me, it gets better every one. Really looking forward to the fourth one. I feel like it's going to be nuts uh, just based off the setup they gave us at the end of three. So, love those movies. Some of the best action, if not the best action, being released right now. Uh, I got Indiana Jones, complete series. So, you can see dust back there. Um, got Mad Max. 4K. Love that movie. Uh, Mad Max Fury Road Black and Chrome Edition Steelbook. Then we got probably my favorite or one of my favorite long running series at this point. Uh, the Mission Impossible series. If you haven't seen these, uh, you're missing out big time. Uh, so we got 1 through 5 in the 4K slips and then all of a sudden they decided to change the style for the 6th one so got all of that. Um, but yeah, this may be the best action movie I've ever seen. I loved it so much. Just perfect. And then I got the six series collection. Um, got Pacific Rim. This is the 3D slip, if you can see that. Then we got the 4K. And then we got Rambo. First Blood, the VHS slip. I was going through these for a little bit. Only got through the first two, though. There's the 4K. And then we got First Blood Part 2. Really love that second one. Uh, and then we got Rampage. I've got the others of the Rambos, but they're just in a different section. Then we got my favorite series of all time, Star Wars. The first three. And then we got... Solo, 4K, and that's a Target Edition. Then we got Rogue One, love that. Coming up here, we got the original trilogy. And then we've got Force Awakens. And then we got the cool 3D um, release. Only got that for five bucks from somebody, Facebook Marketplace. And we got The Last Jedi on 4K, and soon, Rise of Skywalker. And go ahead and sue me. I love all the Star Wars. Um, I think they're all... I think the entire series is fun. So Then we got the Complete Fast and Furious collection. Um, there's some... It's a hit or miss series for me. really like some ones. really don't like the others. Um, like Tokyo Drift. Not a huge fan of that one. Um... And I don't have Hobbs and Shaw because I didn't really enjoy that one, so I uh, probably won't be getting that one. Um, then we got Magnificent Seven. Love that one. Um, if you haven't noticed, obviously I keep my 4Ks and Blu-rays in the same section. Um, we got The Terminator with the cool slip. Love that movie. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And then Terminator Salvation. Those are the only Terminators I've seen so far. Need to check out the other at some point. Others. Um, then we got Transformers 5 movie collection. Only seen the first four. Just heard the last night was garbage, so I haven't gotten myself to watch it yet. But, I mean, really the first one is the only great one. Um, the others are... Eh. Okay, uh, so now we're in the animated section. So... We've got A Bug's Life, 4K, got Aladdin animated, 
4K. I got Beauty and the Beast. Um, the 4K's out, but I just don't have it yet. Um, Big Hero 6, love this movie. Uh, I got Cars, classic Disney. I got Despicable Me 1 and Despicable Me 2. This one's the, uh, it's a 3D cover, kind of hard to see. Um, then we got Despicable Me 2, 4K. They're fun movies. Okay, down here we got Ice Age, the original one. We got Inside Out, 4K, great movie. Finding Nemo. We got Frozen back here. Still have to check out Frozen 2. Then we got the Ultimate Edition, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Don't know what makes it ultimate, but it says so, so it must be true. I uh, got How to Train Your Dragon, 1, 2, and 3, Steelbooks. Love the first one. One of the best animated movies, in my opinion. But the whole series is really good. And like that they stayed consistent with the Steelbook styles on that one. We got Kung Fu Panda. Uh, then we got Madagascar, first one. Love that one. Monsters, Inc., one of my favorite uh, Disney Pixar's. Got Monsters University 4K. Um, got Mulan, Ratatouille 4K. Got the first edition of the short films collection. Got Sing, okay movie. Then maybe the best Spider-Man movie we've got so far. Uh, Into the Spider-Verse, just fantastic. Love this movie. Uh, Stuart Little. It's close on that, by the way. There's about three Spider-Man movies for me that are kind of right up against each other in ranking. Uh, Tangled. Got Tintin. This one's DVD because it's only released in DVD. The Brave Little Toaster. I haven't watched that since I was a kid, but I remember lots of scenes from it. The Incredibles, my favorite animated movie. It's a 4K steelbook. And that's another Steelbook Edition. And guess what? Another Steelbook Edition. This is the Mondo Steelbook. Love the artwork design on that. Love the movie. Got the Target release of Incredibles 2. And the Steelbook Best Buy Edition. Thought that was a great sequel. Loved it. Worth the wait for me. And we got the Lego movie. That was a fun surprise when it came out. I got the Lego Batman movie, which I also enjoyed. Got the Lion King, just an absolute classic. Okay, down here we've got Little Mermaid, 4K, and the Target release. And we got the Polar Express. Uh, I got Prince of Egypt. I got Secret Life of Pets. Enjoyed that one. Simpsons movie. Haven't seen much of The Simpsons, but I really enjoy the movie. We got the two movie collection for SpongeBob. We got the Mondo Steelbook for Toy Story. Maybe my favorite animated series, Toy Story. Toy Story 2, my favorite of the trilogy. Just the comedy is so crisp and good in that one. Toy Story 3 and Toy Story 4 which I enjoyed. Still not necessarily a necessary sequel, but it's still still enjoyable. Um, Up, 4K. Wally. -E. Wreck-It Ralph. It's a 3D slip. Then we got the 4K Steelbook. Wreck-It Ralph. We got Zootopia. Okay, we are done with the animated section now on to comedy. 22 Jump Street. I uh, haven't seen 21. I've seen 22. Um, 50 First Dates. 500 Days of Summer. Great movie. A Knight's Tale. Rest in Peace. Heath Ledger. Uh, Christmas Story. We got American Pie. 1 through 4. The official ones. 
official timeline, I guess. Uh, Anchorman. Watched it for the first time, finally, last year. Hilarious. Definitely understand why it's regarded as one of the best comedies. Um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Steelbook. Uh, Bruce Almighty. Christmas Vacation. Can't get too far over because I'm running to set up right there. Down here, got Christmas with the Cranks. One of my family's favorites to watch around Christmas. We got Clueless with the Slip. We got Crazy Rich Asians. Really enjoyed that one. We got Crazy Stupid Love. We got Daddy's Home. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Got Easy A, really enjoy that one. Elf, one of my favorite Christmas movies. Then we got the Steel Book of Elf. If I'm cutting a lot right now, it's because I can't get these back in the shelf, and so I have to take a moment to put them back. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Freaky Friday. Fun with Dick and Jane, I love that one. Game Night, one of my favorite comedies recent years. Get Smart, Ghostbusters, the original, and then 1 and 2, 4K Steelbook. We got Groundhog Day, we got Grown Ups, Hitch, classic Will Smith, Home Alone, my favorite Christmas movie, love that movie. Then we got the Steelbook, try to show you these, it's hard for me to get around this. We got Home Alone 2, decent sequel. Uh, Hot Rod, hilarious movie. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, Christmas with Jim Carrey. Uh, Hunt for the Wilder People, love this movie from Taika Waititi, super funny. Been checking out a lot more of his movies lately. I Love You Man. Uh, this is a Jim Gaffigan stand-up special, Noble Ape. Jingle All the Way, and then we got Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and Jumanji The Next Level, I'll pull these out so you can see the covers, love both of these, um, about the same, They're, it's hard for me to rank them, but hoping we get a third one, uh, we got Just Go With It, we got Killers, and Night and Day with Tom Cruise, that's a fun one. Continuing down here, we got Legally Blonde 1 and 2. First one's classic. Mean Girls. Really love that one. Monty Python. Holy Grail. Did you just say knee to that old lady? Uh, Moonrise Kingdom. Sorry, Moonrise Kingdom. Mrs. Doubtfire. My Big Fat Greek Wedding. It's one of my mom's favorite. Uh, Nacho Libre. Classic Jack Black. Napoleon Dynamite, maybe my most watched comedy. Love that movie. Uh, Night at the Museum. Paul Blart. Uh, Pitch Perfect, the first one, 4K. Uh, Plus One. This is a really great um, kind of under the radar movie from last year. So, recommend checking it out. It's a fun one. School of Rock, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Shaun of the Dead, great movie, um, Spaceballs, Got Tag, it's a funny movie, um, That Darn Cat, really old classic, um, loved that one as a kid because we had the same uh, breed of cat, so, um, Got the Burbs, funny Tom Hanks movie. Um, got The Edge of Seventeen. Really enjoy that one. That one kind of put Haley Steinfeld on my radar to check out more of her stuff. Uh, the Ghost of Mr. Chicken. The Hangover, the first one. Who would have guessed that he'd go from this to Joker? But here we are. The Man Who Knew Too Little. We got the nice guys, and we've got the other guys. This may still be my favorite comedy. Love this movie. Super hilarious. Just watched it again the other day. 
have that parent trap, the original. And hiding back here, we've got Pink Panther, Steve Martin. We've got The Ringer, hilarious. We've got Santa Claus, one, two, and three. I'm trying to pull these out so you can see the covers. Truman Show. It's a great movie. Really recommend it. Tommy Boy. Got Tucker and Dale vs. Evil Steelbook. And last on this shelf, got Uncle Buck. Okay, so now I can actually stand on this side of the shelves. Um, so continuing on with comedy, got Uncle Drew, 4K. If you like basketball, you'll probably like that movie. Um, Wayne's World, classic. Wet Hot American Summer, really funny. Just dumb, dumb humor type movie. Uh, what about Bob? No Blu-ray release yet, unfortunately. Not that I know of. Yes Man, this movie's great. If you're feeling down, this is like one of the ultimate pick-me-up movies. Uh, you Again. Oh, whoops, we got the first Zombieland Steelbook. And then we got the 4K Steelbook. And Zombieland Double Tap Steelbook. Both of these are great. They're number two is about on par with number one for me, so I like them. And then we got Zoolander. Okay, that's all for comedies. So now the next up is documentaries, which, wow, what a big section. We got Free Solo and Won't You Be My Neighbor. Huge, I know. Um, just those two, but. Um, this is the German 4K release of this movie. Comes in a cool little uh, digibook style packaging. And then, I mean, this is just uh, so wholesome. So, love both of those. Okay, and then next we got the drama section. Um, so we've got A Beautiful Mind. Great movie. American Maid, good Tom Cruise, Birdman, very technically impressive movie, and also an enjoyable movie. We got Blue Valentine, it's a tough watch. Um, we got Bohemian Rhapsody, pretty good. Um, I I like it. I do feel sometimes it's a little bit overrated, but just my opinion. Still enjoy it though. Got the original Bring It On. Capote with the great Philip Seymour Hoffman. Such a great actor. One of his better performances. Um, Catch Me If You Can. Good movie. Christopher Robin. Uh, was smiling like throughout this whole movie, and this is a great movie. Love it. The Darkest Hour, or just Darkest Hour. Got Doubt fantastic movie. This is just a couple of all-star actors going at it. Everest. First Man. I enjoyed that one. And then we got Four vs. Ferrari. This is a great movie from last year. One of my favorite Christian Bale performances. He was great in that. Um, got Her with Joaquin. Holes. Classic movie. We got Independence Day, the original, 4K. We got Instant Family. This is a really fun, uplifting movie. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life, one of my favorite movies of all time. What a classic. Then we got it in 4K as well. We got Jojo Rabbit, uh, my second favorite, kind of like. My 1B favorite movie of last year. Just amazing movie. Taika Waititi is just killing it right now. Uh, I got Lady Bird. Enjoyable. Lars and the Real Girl. Uh, if you get past the concept of this one, it's a really good movie. But if you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out. But just know it's an interesting concept for sure. Um, got Miracle on 34th Street. Molly's Game. Really love this movie. Great performance by Jessica Chastain. Only the Brave. Paper Towns. 
with Mrs. Eyebrows. Um, got Robin Hood. Room. Uh, this movie will probably make you cry at some point. Uh, Saints and Soldiers. Great movie. Uh, Spotlight. Love this movie. It's like 99.9% .9 dialogue, but uh, you're just engaged the entire time. Step Up. I really love the Step Up series, at least the first two. Step Up to the Streets. My f favorite of the series, Step Up 3. Love this movie. Great dancing movies. Uh, Stronger. Great performance by Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, who's my favorite actor, by the way. Got Sully. Oh, that slid out of there really fast. Um, Tom Hanks. Then we got Age of Adeline. Uh, good movie. We got The Breakfast Club. Classic. We got The Cokeville Miracle. We got The Disaster Artist. Great performance by James Franco. It was really entertaining, especially if you've seen The Room. And The Help. Another great movie. The Imitation Game. The Notebook. I haven't watched this one in a while, so don't remember if it's good or not. Uh, the Post. Another good Tom Hanks. Uh, Will Smith, Pursuit of Happiness. Love that movie. Uh, Secret Life of Walter Mitty. This one's pretty good. It's a little, a little too slow paced at times for me. Um, Ten Commandments. Theory of Everything. We got The Upside. Really love that movie. We got Tolkien, which I thought was a pretty good portrayal of um, the great writer. His early days. Uh, Unbroken. I did not realize this movie was directed by Angelina Jolie until the credits rolled. So that was a big surprise because it's a very good movie. Uh, got Warm Bodies 4K. And that is it for the drama section. Next up we got Fantasy. Um, got Clash of the Titans. Then down here we got the 4K steelbook set of Harry Potter. Super nice edition. Um, I won't pull all of them out, um, but yeah, it's got each of the steel books in nice foam packaging, so it's a great set. Um, recently started going through these movies again, so it's a fun series. Then we got Fantastic Beasts, which I'm not really enjoying the series so far, so we'll see if anything changes. King Arthur, this movie got way too much hate. Love this movie. So entertaining. It's got that classic Guy Ritchie flair. Um, King Kong, the Peter Jackson one. And then we've got the 4K edition. The Ultimate Edition. Uh, who knows what makes it Ultimate, though. Um, Lord of the Rings, the greatest trilogy of all time, um, in my opinion, and in a large consensus. Um, really hoping we get the 4Ks of this soon, and that they're good transfers, because just can't get better than that. Then we got The Hobbit, Unexpected Journey. Then we got The Desolation of Smaug, or Smog, however you pronounce it. And then we got Battle of the Five Armies. Um, I've only seen the trilogy once, the Hobbit trilogy, so eventually I'll have to go through it again. I remember thinking it's decent, but doesn't hold a candle to the originals. Then we got Pirates, Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, Our World's End, and On Stranger Tides. And then, didn't really enjoy this one, but um, got it for cheap. Wanted to complete the collection. Then we got Prince of Persia. Then we got The Jungle Book, probably Disney's best live action so far. Then we got The Princess Bride with the VHS slip. Then we got the Criterion edition. Love that edition. And then we got Wizard of Oz, classic movie. And that's all for the fantasy. So now we are on to horror. I've seen plenty of videos where people do 
filming on lower shelves, and I've never appreciated how difficult it is until now. Okay, got A Quiet Place. There's a lot of movies in the horror section because it's one of my favorite genres. Um, and that's one of my favorite horror movies. Can't wait for the second one. Unfortunately, it got delayed. Uh, Alien. Classic. Aliens. We got Prometheus. And Prometheus 4K. And we got Alien Covenant. Then we got my favorite found footage style movie, As Above, So Below. A lot of cool behind the scenes stuff about this movie, so if you haven't seen it, definitely recommend checking it out. Then we got Blair Witch, which um, may be an unpopular opinion, but I actually really enjoy this one. I don't think it's as bad as everybody says. Then we got the Steelbook version of that. Come down here. We've got Creep, which is a pretty decent low-budget horror. Pretty decent. It's actually quite good. I enjoy it. Uh, Devil and Night movie. The original Halloween. Um, just watched that first time a couple years ago. Definitely see why it's regarded as one of the best horrors of all time. So good. Got Happy Death Day. Really fun movie. Um, I've seen the second one. It was okay. I didn't like it nearly as much as the first one. And we got Haunt, which was a really uh, another under the radar movie from last year that I really enjoyed. If you like horror movies, this is a great watch. And it's from the same writers as The Quiet Place. A Quiet Place. Um, got Hellfest. It's okay. I Am Legend. Classic horror movie. Hopefully we don't get to that point with the virus stuff. Uh, Insidious. Insidious 2. My favorite of the Insidious movies. And Insidious 3, and Last Key. I love the Insidious series. Uh, I enjoy all the movies, so that's one of my more favorite horror series. Got It, the lenticular slip. Then we've got It Follows. And got Life. Really enjoy that movie. Lights Out. We've got Mama. One's okay. And we've got Never Hike Alone. This one's from, this is like a very, very indie movie. That's just from a small group of people who made this. Um, they're currently working on a sequel to it. Um, but definitely check it out if you want to support some smaller creators. I really enjoy it. Um, Oculus, fantastic horror movie. Uh, I got Overlord, which was very enjoyable. Everyone thought this was going to be the next Cloverfield movie, but... It still was very good. Uh, Paranormal Activity, the original. Only one I've seen. I enjoy it. Phoenix Forgotten. Cool movie about the Phoenix Lights. Here we got Psycho, absolute classic. And then we got Quarantine. Um, I've seen the Wreck movies as well, just don't own them. Um, like them both. Hard to compare or hard to decide which one I like more. Got uh, Saw. Scream, another classic. Another one of my favorite horror movies, Sinister. This movie scared the crap out of me when I saw it. Um, I was watching it in my apartment alone, and nobody came home that night. Um, and so I thought I was going to die. Uh, got Sinister 2. It's, it's mediocre, not the best sequel, but not the worst. Got The Boy, enjoyable movie, cool twist. The Boy 2, one of the worst horror movies I've ever seen. Um, Cabin in the Woods, got the lenticular. Cool movie. Then we got The Conjuring. We got a lenticular slip. Hard, if you can see it, we got the clapping hands. This is another fantastic horror franchise. Then got another uh, lenticular slip. If you can see the eyes moving there. Got The Conjuring 2. Another lenticular slip, more eyes moving. Then we got the con a Conjuring 2 steelbook. Um, pull out so you can kind of see it. Got Bill Wilkins. Annabelle Creation. Really enjoyed that movie. As well as, oh, that's just a lenticular slip. 
um, as well as Annabelle Comes Home. Really enjoyed that one as well. Then we got The Nun. Um, still not the worst Conjuring movie. That one for me is still the first Annabelle. This movie's not far behind it though. Disappointing. Um, the Crazies. This is the remake. Um, enjoy it. It's a good movie. The Descent. This movie's nuts. Uh, so claustrophobic. So well done. Definitely recommend it. Um, maybe a more unpopular opinion. Um, I think The Gallows is okay. Um, it's not the greatest by any means or anything, but I kind of have a soft spot for found footage movies, so I kind of enjoyed it for what it was. So. Got The Houses October Built, another good found footage. Great to watch during Halloween time. The Meg, just a silly movie. Enjoyable though. Um, got The Others. Got The Ring, another lenticular slip. This one's very cool. The Strangers, love this movie. This is the Scream Factory release. And we got Strangers Pray at Night, a somewhat disappointing sequel. And we got The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, fantastic classic horror movie. Really, really good. Watched it for the first time last year. And we got The Thing, another great classic horror movie. It's like the ultimate guessing game movie. So fun. Um, got The Visit, M. Night's kind of return to the spotlight. We got Train to Busan. Um, I believe we're getting a sequel to this soon. Which is exciting. Vacancy. This is a great um, little horror thriller. I uh, got Luke Wilson, Kate Beckinsale. I enjoyed it. And we got World War Z. And that is it for the horror section. Uh, now we got the musical section, only slightly larger than the small documentary section. I uh, got Hairspray. La La Land, great movie. We got Les Mis. We got Mary Poppins, the original, and Mary Poppins Returns. Enjoy that one. The Greatest Showman, maybe my favorite musical. Love that movie. Gets me so hyped every time. We got The Sound of Music. And that's it for the musical, musical section. Um, then we're on to the sci fi section. It's so maybe my favorite genre. Um, got 2001 Space Odyssey. Great classic. Uh, and then we got the Steelbook version. If you can see that. Then we got Annihilation. Great movie. The Steelbook. Then we got Another Earth. It's a pretty good, uh, more indie style movie. Then we got Arrival. One of my favorite movies of all time. From one of my favorite directors of all time. And then we got the original Blade Runner. Um, I have 2049, it's just in a different spot. But 2049 is one of my favorite movies of all time as well. Um, Close Encounters, the third kind. Uh, it's okay, I enjoy it. We got Cowboys and Aliens. And we got... Live, Die, Repeat, True Name, Edge of Tomorrow. Um, love this movie. Can't wait for the sequel. Got Ex Machina. Brilliant movie. Um, he's got, the director of this has a TV show out right now called Devs. It's pretty decent. On Hulu. Um, Ghost in the Show. Live action. And then we got my favorite movie of all time, Interstellar. Love this movie so much. Um, that's why you see so many editions. It's like, I usually don't double up on most movies, but for this one, figured might as well try and get all the editions. Um, so we got the 4K. And then we got the Digibook. We got this version of the Steelbook. Of a Steelbook. And then we got, um, which edition? I think this is, um, called like, I don't remember exactly what edition that is, but it is A edition. Um, got another steel book. The Endurance there. 
And then we've got a star steelbook. And I've got some other versions spread around as well. Got Minority Report. Great movie. We've got Moon. It's quite enjoyable. We've got some cool twists and turns. We've got Oblivion. A little 3D slip. And then we've got another one of my favorite trilogies. The Planet of the Apes trilogy. Fantastic movies. Out of all three of them, I think Dawn is my favorite, but they're all fantastic. Predestination. This movie will absolutely melt your brain. Highly recommend it. Uh, Ready Player One. And then we've got the Steelbook. In there. We've got Skyline. Um, I've only watched it once, I believe. I remember liking it, but also it's rated pretty badly by most other people, so definitely need to watch it again to see if I still like it. Uh, source Code. Boom. 3D slipcover action there. Another great one from Jake Gyllenhaal. And we got the 4K. We got the new Star Trek. And we got Sunshine, which is a pretty good movie. We got Super 8, which was like Stranger Things before Stranger Things almost. Butterfly Effect, really great movie. That movie will also blow your mind. Um, we got The Martian. The Matrix, a classic movie. Um, and we got Tron Legacy. So that's the end of the sci-fi section. Now we are on to the sports movies. Um, got Cool Runnings. Love that movie. Got Fighting With My Family. Really great movie. Um, Glory Road, one of my favorite sports movies. So well done. I just love basketball, so it's right up my own. Invincible. Marky Mark, Million Dollar Baby, great movie. Got Miracle, great movie. And I've also seen uh, The Way Back this year from the same director, also a great movie. Moneyball, Remember the Titans, classic. And Rocky, Confession, I've never seen the original Rocky. Need to watch it though. Creed. Love that movie. Creed 2, Steelbook, also love that movie. And we got Space Jam. We got The Blind Side, one of Sandra Bullock's better movies, or better performances, I should say. The Greatest Game Ever Played. Really enjoy that. The original Karate Kid in 4K. Karate Kid 1 and 2. Um, this is the only set that I have the second one in, so that's why I still have that. And we got the Will Smith, or not the Will Smith, the Jaden Smith Karate Kid. And then we have The Rookie. And then we have maybe my favorite sports movie, and Warrior. Amazing. That's it for the sports section. Now we are on to superhero movies. So I have it kind of organized DC, Marvel, and then kind of miscellaneous. So we've got Batman Begins. The, I mean, this is the Nolan trilogy. Not much needs to be said. Everyone already knows how incredible these are. The Dark Knight is one of my favorite movies of all time. Got the Digi book there. Then got another edition of the trilogy because why not have multiple editions of the Nolan trilogy? Chronicle, enjoyable movie. Um, I guess I don't have it completely organized, DC, Marvel, whatnot, so. Um, Batman v Superman, it's okay. Wonder Woman, enjoyed that. Justice League, quite disappointing. Aquaman, another 3D lenticular there. Really enjoyed that movie, and it's a great 4K disc. Uh, I got Shazam, love this movie. David Sandberg's one of my favorite directors, he's got... Such a cool story of how he came to start directing. Uh, Joker, favorite movie of last year. And then my Marvel movies, um, I have organized based on chronological in the movie timeline. So that's how I like to watch them. So that's how I order them. So we got Captain America, First Avenger, Captain Marvel, 
It's okay. I don't hate it as much as some people seem to. Uh, the original Iron Man, still one of the best. Iron Man 2, one of the worst. Um, Incredible Hulk, it's okay. Thor, the first Avengers, iconic. Thor The Dark World, my least favorite of the Marvel movies. Guardians, 4K Steelbook, love that movie. Okay, down here we got Guardians of the Galaxy 2, uh, which I watched again during my marathon before Endgame, and I it's a pretty funny movie. I remember not liking it that much, but I actually enjoy it. Iron Man 3, it's actually not too bad. Uh, and then we got The Winter Soldier, my second favorite Marvel movie. And then we've got uh, Age of Ultron. And then we've got uh, Ant-Man. Love the Ant-Man movies. Um, Paul Rudd's great in them. And then we got Civil War. Another really good movie. I'm not like consistent about wanting to get steelbooks or slipcovers. I just get whichever edition I like. Um, got Doctor Strange slipcover. Black Panther. Spider-Man Homecoming, in my top three for Spider-Man movies. Thor Ragnarok, another great Taika Waititi. Ant-Man and the Wasp, and then Ant-Man and the Wasp with the lenticular. And then we got my favorite Marvel movie, uh, Infinity War. Just amazing. And then we've got Endgame, which... It's a great conclusion. Amazing that they were able to stay so consistent through all those movies. I also have Ant-Man and the Wasp before Infinity War just because, I mean, I already know what happens in Infinity War, so there's no reason for me to put Ant-Man and the Wasp afterwards just for an uh, end credit scene. And then we got Far From Home. Then we got Once Upon a Deadpool, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy. Uh, the second one is still one of the best superhero movies. Love that one. We got Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 2. Haven't watched those in a long time, so can't really comment on them. Then we got M. Knight's Superhero Trilogy. Unbreakable Steelbook. Split. 4K. And we got the Glass Steelbook and the Glass 4K. I love that trilogy. And I also really enjoyed Glass. The The ending really worked for me. So I know it doesn't work for some people, but for me it did. Venom. Love that steelbook. So cool. The movie's okay. That is the end of the superhero section. And so now we are on to thrillers. Starting off with 13 Hours. Good movie. 21. Enjoyed that one. 1408. We've got my most recent pickup, 1917 4K Steelbook. Um, just one of the most incredible cinematic achievements and experiences I've seen. Love that movie. Uh, 2012. Hey, look, 2020, we're still alive. Cure for Wellness. Enjoy it. I, I love the atmosphere this movie creates. Argo. Fantastic movie. We got Baby Driver. Absolutely love it. Edgar Wright's style is just so entertaining. We got Braven. It's a decent Jason Momoa movie. We got Cloverfield. Uh, one of the best marketing campaigns for a movie of all time. And then we've got 10 Cloverfield Lane. Absolutely love this movie. One of my favorite thrillers. Now we got probably the best movie that you've never even heard of. Coherence. I love this movie so much. And most people haven't even heard of it. Um, definitely recommend checking it out. I think it's on Amazon Prime if you have that. It's free to watch. Um, if you can, go into it without knowing anything. And you will be blown away. Love it. Uh, Coronavirus, the movie. Creature from the Black Lagoon, Steelbook, classic. 
deja vu. Deja vu. That was a dumb joke. Uh, Disturbia. Old school Shia LaBeouf. Uh, got Drive. Dunkirk. In the Dunkirk Steelbook. Fantastic Christopher Nolan movie. Escape Room. Um, I enjoyed it. Glad right, we're getting a second movie. See what they'll do with that. Uh, Get Out. Uh, Jordan Peele's great directorial debut. Godzilla. One of the most underrated movies, I feel like. I love that movie. The sound design and the cinematography are top notch. I uh, got Gone Girl. Reversed. Got Gravity. What a thrill ride. Love that movie. Green Room. Another amazing, uh, kind of underrated thriller movie. Uh, from A24, I believe. Yep. Um, yeah, great performance by Patrick Stewart and Anton Yelchin. Rest in peace. Uh, in Time. Inception, one of the greatest movies of all time. My favorite first time watches in the theater. Everyone just gasped at the end. Still remember it. Um, Insomnia, another Christopher Nolan. Jaws, classic. Jurassic Park, the first one, one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, and I like most of the sequels, except this one, Jurassic World Fallen Can Kingdom. Um, didn't enjoy it too much, but I do appreciate the setup that it gave us for the next movie, so it'll be interesting to see what they do. Kong Skull Island, really enjoyed that one. Leon the Professional, great movie. Uh, Limitless, enjoy that one. Memento, one of Christopher Nolan's best, although everything I've watched of his I love. And then we got uh, just a DVD edition of it. Just a cool collector's edition type thing. Then we got Murder on the Orient Express. We got National Treasure. Love that movie. Classic. National Treasure 2. Remember enjoying that one. Nerve. The, uh, the lighting department went absolutely ham on this movie. Um, Nightcrawler. One of Jake Gyllenhaal's best performances. No Country for Old Men. I believe this is a lenticular. Um, fantastic movie. Love that movie. Nocturnal Animals. Another fantastic Jake Gyllenhaal movie. Um, just beware of the opening credits. <laughs> it's just kind of a little random. I don't know why it's in there, but a little jarring. Um, Nonstop with Liam Neeson. Ocean's Eleven. Classic movie. Uh, Ocean's 8. I enjoyed that one too. It's not too bad. Uh, one Hour Photo. Cool Robin Williams thriller. A Paycheck. Predator. Prisoners. This is probably my favorite thriller of all time. This movie is just unbelievable. Every performance in it is amazing. The story is amazing. Um... Yeah, just, if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor, watch it. Uh, Safe House. That's Salt. Only seen this one time, don't really remember much about it. Searching. Great underrated thriller. All takes place on a computer screen. Pretty cool idea. Um, a couple of movies have done that, but I think that one pulls it off really well. Got Seven, an absolute classic. Probably my favorite from David Fincher. Got Sherlock Holmes, first and second. And then got the second one with the slip. Shutter Island, fantastic movie. Sicario, uh, fantastic movie. <laughs> just keep repeating myself, but yeah, I love this movie. Denis Villeneuve just hasn't had a misstep. Then we got Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Different director, same writer though good sequel. Side Effects, good thriller. And we got Signs, probably my favorite M. Night film. 
Love that one. Stonehurst Asylum. Enjoy that one. Whoops, got Taken. Great, great movie. The Accountant. Um, maybe one of the most underrated of the past, like, five or so years. This movie's fantastic. Ben Affleck does such a great job. And I love the movie. It's like an intellectual Jason Bourne. Um, the Adjustment Bureau. Um, Matt Damon and Emily Blunt have fantastic chemistry in that movie. Uh, the Book of Eli. The Da Vinci Code. Angels and Demons. Love that movie. Inferno. Um, I remember thinking it was, it was decent, but I'll have to check that out again at some point. Day After Tomorrow, one of my favorite disaster movies. Haven't watched it in a long time, though. The Endless, great movie. Another one that isn't talked about a whole lot. Um, the Fugitive, classic, Harrison Ford. The Game, this movie just blew my mind when I watched it the first time. So good. It's the Criterion Edition, of course. Um, the Gift. I'm tempted not to say I love this movie because I've said it so much recently, but I do love this movie. Uh, the Hunger Games, great series. Um, we got the 4K set. I think Catching Fire would be my favorite, but I enjoy the whole series. Another great uh, movie that hasn't been seen a whole lot, I feel like. The Invitation. Logan Marshall Green's in it. He's been in a lot of great stuff recently um but yeah definitely recommend checking it out very good thriller mystery type movie knives out ryan johnson's most recent enjoy it the man from uncle and we got the maze runner trilogy in 4k i'd say probably the scorch trials might be my favorite um then i've also got the trilogy in steelbook form Enjoyable trilogy. Uh, I got The Net with Sandra Bullock. I have to watch this again. I remember really liking it. The Next Three Days. Underrated thriller. And the Pelican Brief. Great cast. Another Christopher Nolan winner. Uh, the Prestige. Great movie. Got The Purge. I, I enjoyed the first... I enjoyed the first Purge. Not the movie, the first Purge. The first in the series. Um, haven't seen any of the others yet, though, so I'll eventually get around to them. The Revenant. Leo's Oscar. We got The Revenant 4K. The Saratov Approach. The Shallows. We got the lenticular for the Blu-ray. And also got the lenticular for the 4K. Very cool. Lenticular slips. And then we got The Shining just watched this for the first time before seeing Dr. Sleep last year, and holy cow, this movie is incredible. Can't believe I hadn't seen it until then, but definitely deserves all the praise it gets. And Dr. Sleep, which I also really loved. The director of this has done lots of great movies. And The Haunting of Hill House. Great series. Um, got Tomb Raider, really enjoyed that one. Got the first Unfriended, which is okay. And then Unfriended the Dark Web, which I enjoyed, really enjoyed when I watched it. I've only seen it one time, though. Unknown. Unstoppable. Um, the cinematographer in this movie just basically circles around the main two actors for the entire runtime, but uh, Upgrade. Uh, this is a great movie. Le Winnell directed it, and it's so good. I love it. Definitely recommend it. Uh, v for Vendetta. Vantage Point. Widows. Wind River. Amazing movie. Zero Dark Thirty. And Zodiac. And that is it for the thrillers. It's a great movie, by the way. Um... And so here we kind of get into movies that I haven't watched that I've purchased. Usually these are movies that I get for really deep discounts from either like thrift shops or 
secondhand sellers. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of movies that I have yet to watch. I'm slowly working through them. Um, there's probably some movies around here that would be surprising if I haven't seen them. Um, so I can't really talk about too much. Some movies in here like Spy Kids I have seen, but I just have only seen it once as a kid, so I don't really remember it. So I just throw it in there. Can't talk about much of these too much, but I'm just kind of glance over them so you can see them. Um, obviously some are more well known than others, but definitely most of these I need to check out at some point. So hopefully we're able to catch glimpses of some of them. Um, but yeah, again, don't have too much to say about them because I haven't seen them. We got this shelf right here as well. I need to slow down on buying stuff because of movies that I haven't seen because I'm running out of room. Um, then you have stuff like the James Bond collection down there. Um, I have seen several James Bond movies, but not the whole series, so that's why that's in there. Okay, and then I have a whole nother shelf of movies I haven't seen, so i um, got some Criterion's up there at the top left. Got a lot of other good movies. I haven't, just haven't gotten around to watching them. Um, yeah, and some movies um, are in here because they're a part of a series and I have seen like the first in the series I just haven't seen the others and so like the Matrix trilogy I've seen the first Matrix just not the other two um, so yeah that's just an overview of ones that I haven't seen so yeah on to the next Okay, so now we are probably on to my favorite section of movies, the premium editions. Uh, if you don't know what those are, basically there's a, several different companies who release kind of these special editions of movies that come in either really nice packaging or with a bunch of different goodies or exclusive steelbooks, things like that. And they usually are limited to um, like a couple hundred copies, and so they sell out almost instantly and then they can be pretty tricky to find um so um yeah i'll just kind of show you each cover on each of them because they're kind of hard to go through and pull them out each individually but we got a 10 cloverfield lane um just to give you kind of an example this is one of 1000 uh, if you can see that there um so it's got the front cover it's got a steel book and a little booklet in there and I got a back cover so it is very nice then we got quiet place a lot of them have kind of nice lenticulars so I'll just go through these individually um, if you'd like to see any of them more in detail I might go through them a little bit more in the future um, this is an XL slip, so it's bigger. comes with two little booklets there. Um, front cover, back cover. Um, got Alita Battle Angel. Anticular. Got Aquaman. And the movies that you'll see here, um, there's a lot of releases for these premium editions, but... Um, I only get the ones that I really love just because of how um, expensive it can be to purchase them. So all the movies that you'll see on here are ones that I've probably already gone through. They're ones that I just really, really love and want to get like these collector's editions of. Um, Arrival. Um, and most of these are still sealed just because I already own a normal edition of the film. And these are more like collector's items. I'm not against opening them at some point but for now I like to keep them sealed Avengers we got Avengers Infinity War 
This one is a lenticular on the back. Very nice. And if any of you want more information on how to get these or things like that, um, feel free to ask me in the comments. Got baby driver. And got a lenticular there, there on the other side. And then we've got uh, Big Hero 6 lenticular. And you'll see some of these have um, kind of different languages on the side. That's because most of these are imported from other countries. Um, most of these premium editions companies are overseas companies. Um, so as I mentioned before, here's my other edition, or my only edition of Blade Runner 2049. This one is open. Um, got this steel book in there. But yeah, just love that movie. Captain America, Winter Soldier. Got Creed 2, Lenticular. And I got Doctor Strange. And got Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I think that is my only edition of that one that I have. Got Ex Machina. I got this one originally, and then I got a different edition, which you'll see in a second. We got First Man. We got Godzilla. Cool lenticular there. And then we got Gravity. This one also has a lenticular on the helmet. If you can see that there. Um, most of these um, have just been a lot of like waiting for the right price on eBay, things like that, or getting them through something called group buys, um, which I can tell you more about if you want to know. That's How to Train Your Dragon, Inception, a cool addition there, the lenticular on the front, and got inside out yeah very very happy with all the ones that i've been able to collect thus far insidious uh, interstellar very cool it's hard to s hold the camera and show off some of these but hopefully you're able to see um the lenticulars changing this one is actually a custom full slip from somebody um, on a Facebook group that made it custom and that's where one of the other steel books I had went um, so that was cool to get that so there may only be like one edition of that <laughs> in the world so um, John Wick 2 we got this is just a Zavi uh, release that's just a website um, they did a special release of this movie. I like the artwork on that. That's cool. Got Jumanji. This is a recent pickup. Welcome to the Jungle. Jurassic World. Been waiting to get Jurassic Park, but that one is very difficult to find. At least for a price that isn't going to break the bank. Uh, King Kong. It's a very nice release. It's hard to see on the camera, but um, it's got a very cool texture to it. I don't know if it, the camera is going to pick it up. You can kind of catch the light reflecting off it, though. Very nice release. This also came with a, a poster um, representative of ones you find in the movie at the theater. Okay, La La Land, lenticular. Got the Magnificent Seven. We got Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Um, I've already talked about most of these movies, obviously, so I'm just going through showing off the designs. Got Mission Impossible Fallout. And then took this one out so I could slide stuff out. Got Monsters Inc. Lenticular. Love that movie. Monsters University, lenticular. Some of these, um, the steel book is in the bottom and it's just kind of like a special edition slip cover. 
And we got Nightcrawler. Cool rainbow effect from that. And got the back there. And then we got No Country for Old Men. Predestination. Cool addition. Um, again, if you want to see any of these more in detail, you can let me know. We got Prisoners. Very cool with the maze. Different faces. There's also another edition of Prisoners that just got pushed back. Every moment matters. Okay, then we got Prometheus. This one is quite thick. We got Ready Player One. This one is a lenticular. We're getting some sneak peeks of the others as well. This is a double lenticular, so both sides. We got Spectre. We got Into the Spider Verse. Some of these are 4K, some of these are Blu ray, some of them are 3D. Just depends on the edition and the company. Split. And the Accountant. I'll show you the other side because there is a lenticular effect. Really love that movie. Got The Day After Tomorrow. Try and slide that in. I have two editions of The Descent here. One of them, very cool lenticular effect there. And the second edition, very cool. Got The Greatest Showman, another very thick edition. That at the front and at the back. Then we've got the Incredibles, lenticular, and the Incredibles, another edition. And we've got the Lego Movie. This is another lenticular. And we've got Tomb Raider. Um, if you have questions about like specific companies um, that release these, um, like the names of particular editions, um, you can let me know. I'm happy to answer. Uh, Wind River is lenticular. And Zodiac, Director's Cut. Some of these don't come with steelbooks. Some of them just come with Blu-rays. Okay, so those are all the... Uh, kind of single editions that I have. Uh, in addition to those, they also release what are called one-click sets, um, where they release about three variations of these single editions, um, which you can buy individually, or you can buy them in a complete big box set that comes with all of them. Um, and so I have some of those for movies that I really, really love. Um, first up, we got Argo. Very nice. And again, these are also limited to usually around like 500 or less. And then I've got one of my favorite editions, Blade Runner 2049. Um, this edition is massive. So it's very, very, very large. Um, there's the back because this um, as I mentioned, most come with three, two or three editions. This one has five. Um, so it has about four normal editions, and then uh, the fifth is kind of like a little gift box. Um, but, yeah, I love that edition. So cool. Very, very glad I got that one I did, because now it is worth a pretty penny. It's very difficult to come by. Edge of Tomorrow, this one, the... Front has a lenticular effect. And there is the side, there is the back. Got Ex Machina. So I originally had bought the single edition and then 
I realized I wanted the full edition, so eventually I'll sell off that single edition. But if you can kind of tell the rainbow effect that's coming off of it. Very nice. There's the side. There's the back. And this Inception edition is like the briefcase used in the film. Um, so I'll try and open it here. So it opens up and you got the steelbook in there. You've got the top and it's upside down right now but there's the numbers that they generate in the movie and then there's some little art cards there. So I'll close that for now. We got Interstellar, one click. This one probably took me the longest amount of time of waiting to get this because this almost never pops up on eBay because I missed it at the original time of selling. And since it's my favorite movie, I have to, of course, get the addition of that. There's the side. There is the back. Love that movie. Uh, one of the more recent one-click releases, John Wick 3. There's the side. There's the back. Love that movie. Down here we got Mad Max, Fury Road. There's the front. There's the side. And there's the back with Max. And I like being able to display all of these facing outwards right now. Eventually, um, unless I get another shelf, I'll have to start turning them to the sides so I can actually fit more. i um, got seven. This is really cool um, because um, if you can see, it opens um, right there in the middle instead of on the side like most. So it opens up like an actual box. Not the blood splatter of the seven deadly sins. There's the side. Please handle with care. Okay, I've got Sicario. This is one of the additions that just comes with two, and this is just kind of an open side style. Um, so there are two additions. There's the back, and then there's the side. Love this one. This one is uh, 500 as well. Some of these are like a little bit less, but the common uh, theme is 500. We've got Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. This is a different company from the earlier one. Um, there's the side, and there's the back. But yeah, I really love that cover artwork there, the shot from the movie. And we got Rogue One. Really love that movie. Love the artwork design. You can try and get up kind of close. Very, very nice. There's the side, rebel symbol, and the back. Some more very nice artwork. This one is open because I did get it from a second hand seller for a great price, so I appreciate him. Same with The Force Awakens, got this from a second hand seller. Uh, there's the front, there's the side. On the other side is the lightsaber, and then the back. A little bit more of a plain design on that one, but I still like it. Then we got The Dark Knight. If you can tell, there's a lenticular effect there. There is the side, and on the back, Joker's face. Awesome. And it, with this set, if you ordered all three, it came in a giant box set, but that housed all three of these for Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, but I was not quick enough on that, so maybe one day I'll be able to find the box set for all three. Um, got The Greatest Showman. And this one, when you open it, there's a side. There's the back. When you open it, there's kind of like a little fold-out design 
uh, which is really nice. Um, again, I'm not against opening these at some point, but for now I like just having them sealed just as collector's items. This is the Prestige. Try and get the effect in there so you don't have any glare. There we go. And this one, I believe... Um, yeah, this one is only a 200 editions. So, very rare copy of this. Lucky to have it in my collection. Um, and there are the editions right there. Okay, so those are all of my premiums. So I have them displayed like this on the shelf. Um, right next to the first shelf that I went through, the TVs. So I'll kind of step back, show you how everything's organized from afar. Maybe a couple other setups. Okay, so here is kind of my shelf setup. So there's all that stuff. At the bottom over there you can see uh, that's kind of where I keep my board games, card games, stuff like that for when friends and whatnot come over. And there's another shelf. Um, didn't show it there earlier. I just have a couple of PS4, Xbox games. Got my TV set up there in between the shelves. Got PS4, 4K player. And then for Black Friday this past year I upgraded from just a soundbar to a 5.1 Sony system. So I've just got the kind of dock right here where everything's connected. And got the center speaker. And then I've got the four um, other surround speakers set up. And... Um, because speaker stands are really expensive, I decided to go the DIY route and just kind of make these makeshift speaker stands. Eventually I'm going to get um, just some like black cloth to drape over them so it looks a little bit better. But all I did was just purchase these concrete blocks from Home Depot. And these, I got like a big um, wood board and had them cut it into four even pieces. And just put those on top, which is where I rest the speakers. And they work really well. We just um, had an earthquake, a small earthquake here the other day. And these all stayed perfectly intact. So they definitely work very well. I recommend going that route instead of the much more expensive speaker stand route, if you can. Obviously, if you're attaching them to your wall, that's different. Um, down there is the sub, a little dusty, but I need to go through and clean some of these. And the TV is a 65-inch Sony 900E. Love that TV. I believe the current model is a 900G, so it's a couple years old. And yeah, so that's pretty much feel like all I have to show. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Um, it's kind of fun going through all the collection, things like that. Um, I'll try uploading a little bit more now, maybe more collection updates, uh, maybe a few like movie reactions for some of the things that I haven't watched so far. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If you liked it, consider subscribing for future stuff. If you have any other questions about any of the additions or uh, anything else, feel free to ask me below. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.